All right, so um, one of the things that, um, <laughs> one of the many things that go on in my wacky life is just this obsession or obsession or just misinformation because every decade, it seems like every decade, um, that there's, there's some new misinformation when it comes to autism. And um, back about 10 years ago, it was the, the four out of five were boys and that data really didn't age well because there's more female cases with ASD, it gets diagnosed later in, in early life, like um, in teenage, um, late, late, um, late um, single digits, early double digits, as opposed to someone with um, a boy with it. Um, and then, and then we, we go towards focusing on ADHD as a uh, major um, d deficiency that we had to focus on all resources. And um, um, I don't live with this condition. I just feel extremely alone. There are not that many resources for a lot of the YouTubers that talk about this subject, they been that they're self-diagnosing or they they figure out they have a couple loose new nuts in their early mid twenties. There's actually another YouTuber under the name Outspoken Autistic, but um, I I am not gonna go down the rabbit hole of you know who's really autistic, who's actually autistic all that kind of crap. My perspective in the writings I've written for the last 12 freaking years uh, since 2011 was particularly from a person who was in the special education system virtually since I was a three-year-old. I was closer to four up uh, to, to, to my 21st birthday. So I was in the public school system with catastrophic funding, high, high functioning air quotes, and um, and um, I w and w w was out of district for eight years. Um, I've been in the Medicaid waiver system since my, my you know, I was about 22 when I received services. Um, again, not all individuals that are in the Medicaid waiver system are crippled and not all um, people in this, this system are extremely high functioning. There's a, there is this middle ground. And again, it is such a lonely experience to try to keep banging the doors and say, hey, look, there are other people out here that aren't in this, um, in these, these set of, um, uh, I, I, I guess, um, stereotypes. The one that really infuriates me, again, I, I also wonder, uh, again, um, because it is a gender uh, situation that I wonder if people on the spectrum are actually alpha males, then um, the so-called alpha males, the very hyper-masculine, toxic type, and then they, they get into the mostly feminist leaning special ed system, and then they become, you know, dysfunctional. Um, there, there, there's these statistics that I'm not gonna relay, and they're coming from well-known experts LC Gamer comes to mind, um, unfortunately, and it's being repeated. Now, how you repeat misinformation is that you repeat the facts over and over. Now, how you repeat facts over and over is you, for a while, mention the stat, you know, that, you know, more than, was it eight times out of, I forget the statistic off the top of my head with the, with people who are in syllabus that are autistic or have autism or whatever, then you kind of justify that data and say it a little bit differently. And then you make it a fact. And this is what's happened for more than three decades for people with autism. We keep getting this, you know, stigma that it's a boy problem, that boys are stupid and throw rocks at them. Remember that MySpace meme way back when before it was a meme? Yeah, that's the kind of stigma growing up with that people like me have, or boys and people on the autism spectrum grow, have grown up with. It's a, such a stigma. When you have the lost little boy stereotype, the cute little things, the pedophilia fetishization of, of the, 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 the harmless child who becomes a monster when you're an adult. Because, yeah, gee, you'd think that that was going to get you places by fetishizing your little baby boy 
um, it really, it really um, aggravates me. And there's so many elements of ASD that doesn't even have to do with ASD. It's a culture. Single moms that, you know, um, there are, 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 um, that are, are co-dependent on their hierarchical autistic child and all this kind of crap. And it really, it really aggravates me that, that no one is doing absolutely anything to, to stop this, to question it within reason. And, um, this world's go, this world's on fire. And if you're somebody that's, you know, had the traditional PDD ALS diagnosis, which is a code word for uh, the death sentence, um, where you have no future, i.e. me, I'm just like a living burden, um, to some, and this is getting to, it's getting to a fever point, but the problem is, does, does anyone went up feel that, that fever point? And I think, I, I just, I don't know, I don't know what else to say other than this is, this is not good. This is absolutely, um, just making, it's just making the problems worse. And I don't, I don't see it changing. I absolutely don't see this changing anytime soon other than just continued um kicking the balls you know every decade there's there you know we focus on asperger's or adhd or adhpv or whatever freaking disorder it is of the day but asd which is according to the cdc is one in, in 36 little baby boys that are you know the t you know under eight that are lost and you know can't speak and they're so dumb but they're so cute i want to control them this is just ridiculous. It's, it's 2023. Wake the hell up. It's not the alleged vaccine injured, um, you know, 20 somethings. There are people like me that are in his mid thirties, close to my late thirties for Christ's sakes of life. And we have gotten absolutely no attention, no support. And I look like I'm some hobo just living in my folks basement talking to a camera here and like as if I'm just limping around that re the perception is not reality it's how bad the adult services system has become in the state of New Hampshire and thanks to our political um, power of just trying to cut corners financially and then have a feel-good liberal approach those two extremes have caused really erratic outcomes and I've written about this for more than 12 years and no one reads this kind of stuff. I must be, I must be psychotic because I'm, I'm high functioning. Why, why am I talking about this? Um, so you get all the stereotype and if I did this fucking stuff to you, you wouldn't like it either. And this is just, this is, this is getting to a fever uh, pitch and I'm trying to do everything I can to spread autism awareness because I live with this condition and I cannot get this. It just, it just completely bewilders me that we are, we aren't having that talk about ASD, um, to help improve what, what, you know, I, I'm going to sit here. I'll be by here all about ADHD people, which I think uses their label as an excuse for things. It, they, they can't even get into the Medicaid waiver programs, okay? They could get the 504 special ed supports, but when they're 21, 22, they, good luck trying to put them in a day program. I mean, people with PDD and OSC, unequated label, can't get, you know, get outcasted. So, you know, ADHD people are just, just on par or below at the traditional or historical Asperger's syndrome but people like me who are on the borderline we think don't fit into either category that gets you know um, name called um, uh, and just gets gaslit for three and a half decades yet there's there's no anger there's just like what, what who on their left minds think that this is this is a right thing to do I, I feel extremely like screaming out of a window and no one's hearing me. I'm some loopy person.
But in reality, I have the receipts. I have emails. If you were to do an RSA 91A request to the, the Bureau of Developmental Services in the state of New Hampshire, um, they probably wouldn't give it to you, number one. But number two, there is a paper trail back in the 2015 time period. Um, and no one did a goddamn thing. They were just like, oh, not my problem. You you, you and your, your agency figure out we had this like big granite wall of bureaucrats can control everybody's lives and the citizens are not supposed to engage with bureaucrats. It's like a teacher-student relationship and these people are heavily narcissistic and I'm loopy when I tell this story to people that are in the system. It's, 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 it's like cognitive dissonance on steroids. So... Anyhow, I think I've uh, blown enough uh, steam and um, torched enough people in this 11-minute clip. So, um, if you're still watching me, still following me, thank you. Much appreciated. Till next time. Bye.